My name is Jerry Cox. I'm executive director of Family Council based in Little Rock. And I want to talk with you just briefly about the SAFE Act. The SAFE Act is a good law that was passed by the Arkansas General Assembly this year, and it primarily prevents gender reassignment procedures on children. So put very bluntly, it's a law that says that you can't do medical procedures, including surgeries, uh, to change little boys physically into little girls or try to change little girls into boys. It only applies to people under the age of 18, but it does restrict those kinds of procedures. And this law is necessary because there's a growing trend around the country for parents and doctors to bring little children in that haven't even started puberty yet and issue um, some kind of decision that all of a sudden we're going to change this little girl into a boy or vice versa. And so this law is really about protecting children. Well, in the day and age that we're in right now, what you have is uh, a lot of in individuals out there in the LGBTQ uh, community that are saying that this is discrimination. Among them are people with the ACOU, and just recently, even with the Biden administration's Department of Justice. What's happened now is this law was passed by the legislature by overwhelming numbers, 72 votes, I believe, in the House and a couple majority in the Senate. And uh, now that it's about to go into effect in late July, um, the ACLU and the Department of Justice are going to federal court here in Little Rock to try to get the law declared unconstitutional. And so in late July, we expect the federal judge here in Little Rock to issue some kind of order, uh, maybe uh, ordering that the law not be enforced or maybe allowing it to go forward. But either way, there will be a challenge in federal court as to the constitutionality of this measure. The attorney general here in Arkansas is charged with defending it. And really, her office has always done a good job of defending these good laws like this and the pro-life laws and others. And so we have a lot of confidence in uh, Attorney General Rutledge and her team to be able to defend this law. But ultimately, this is going to be decided in federal court, and it probably won't be decided by the lower federal courts. We expect it to work its way up through the system. This is the kind of law that could go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. And so it has implications, not just for Arkansas, but for the entire country. In the meantime, we need to do all we can do to prevent this really experimental kind of treatment on children, because none of these drugs they use are approved by the FDA. And certainly the whole idea of surgeries on children to convert them in or try to convert them into the opposite sex just flies in the face of everything that we know to be good and right as far as children are concerned. There are a number of psychiatrists who have testified that these treatments are not appropriate, especially for children. In fact, there were three psychiatrists who came to the Capitol and testified on this bill, and they have experience with working with adolescents who have gender dysphoria, gender issues, and those issues are real, but every one of those psychiatrists said that doing surgeries and doing hormone therapy on children is just not appropriate. And in fact, we're seeing even in liberal Sweden, where they tend to be anything goes, their major gender treatment hospital has said, we are no longer going to do these kinds of treatments on children because it's just not appropriate. And so we're going to have to stay tuned to see what um, transpires next. But as for now, uh, the law is going forward until something happens in the federal courts to uh, dictate otherwise. And we'll wait and see what happens. Don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe. And check back with Conduit News to see where Arkansas stands on important issues.